Hello and welcome, a very warm welcome to The Green Bean. My name's Katie and this is Jack. And in this episode, I'm going to chat about painting, specifically developing a sketchbook practice by working outside, in the wild, in the mud, on Dartmoor. If you watch this channel regularly, you'll probably know that I'm preparing to move house. I'm about to relocate from Devon in the southwest of England to the Brecon Beacons in South Wales. And having lived here on the edge of Dartmoor for almost 10 years, I'm feeling understandably nostalgic and a little bit emotional about leaving. And I've been reflecting on the times that I've spent the last year or so taking my sketchbook out on Dartmoor, doing some painting and enjoying the landscape in a different way. Don't get me wrong, I love my daily dog walks with Jack. You know how much I love them. I love recording them and sharing them here on this channel. But there's something else that happens when I go out alone, take my sketchbook, find a quiet spot and just sit and paint. Even though I've been working as an artist for 15 years or so, I've never really had a sketchbook practice. It's something we were always encouraged to do at art college and I always stoically resisted it. I found that drawing or painting for the sake of it never felt like something I had time for. I had so much work to do, such a busy life, part-time jobs, all these kind of things that seem to get in the way of drawing just for the sake of drawing. But over the past year or so, when I've been taking my paints outside with me, getting comfortable painting outdoors, something has happened, something has changed. And it started with setting myself a timer. So just 15 or 20 minutes. And that was really transformative because it stopped me getting bogged down in perfectionism. The point when I take my paints outside for a time-limited painting is not to make the best painting I've ever made, but to put some colour on the paper and enjoy sinking into the process. And something about this process, even just in the tiny window of 15 to 20 minutes, frees me up to stop focusing on the outcome or a product or a finished piece at all, but just settle into the joy of making marks on paper and actually the joy of being outside as well.
usually I spend my time outdoors going somewhere. I'm on a walk or I'm heading for a swim or I'm keeping an eye on my cheeky dog to make sure he doesn't eat something unsavoury off the ground. Painting outdoors is something entirely different. I'm sitting on the ground, usually in some mud or damp moss or a pile of sticks, and I'm still. So animals will quite often come up, um, feel relaxed enough to come over and see what I'm up to. Um, on one session recently I had a very curious cow wander over to see what I was doing and cows are huge and a bit scary so I kept as still as I could. I didn't capture her on camera but it was a really special moment to have her feel comfortable enough to come over and be curious. And the more I've taken my sketchbook and paints outside, the more I have wanted to carry on doing it. I, for whatever that short window of time is that I'm out painting, I'm fully focused on the painting in that moment. And it's become a really joyful experience for me. I feel like a kid again. I go home with muddy knees and twigs in my hair, but I also go home with a page in my sketchbook, a moment in time that reminds me of a day that I've spent outside in this really beloved place. And of course, now that I know that I'm leaving, those moments captured in my sketchbook have come to mean even more to me.
last month I stumbled upon a patch of Amanita muscaria, fly agaric mushrooms, whom I've never met in real life before, although they've been a huge source of inspiration for my creative work, particularly my knitting patterns in the last year or so. And seeing them face to face for the first time was completely magical. So once I knew where the patch was, I headed out again the next day to spend some more time with them, sketchbook and paints in hand, of course. Do I think this is the best painting I've ever done? No, far from it. It could definitely be more accurate, more detailed, it could capture the light better, I could go on forever about what's wrong with it. That is not important. What's important is that it captures the moment of the morning I spent outside sitting in the mud watching mushrooms. And of course, Painting sessions like this are practice. They increase my familiarity and comfort with painting, improve my confidence, and especially when I do them on a short time limit, they challenge my inner perfectionist to um, just take a back seat and let me carry on enjoying the process rather than worrying about how good or bad the result might be. The more that I take my sketchbook outdoors with me, onto the moors, into the woods, out into the world, the more I find that I want to keep doing it. And far from feeling like keeping a sketchbook is a pointless waste of time, I've now come to feel like it's kind of essential, central to my work, and I can't imagine my creative practice without it. I sort of feel weird if a week has gone by and I haven't taken myself and my sketchbook out for a sit in the mud and a paint. So yeah, I've changed. I've changed from someone who thought that keeping a sketchbook was a waste of time into someone who feels like I can't really do without it. And it's not just from a practical point of view. Obviously there are benefits in terms of keeping up my practice, um, feeling comfortable with my techniques, challenging my perfectionism. All of those are really helpful reasons for doing it. But the most important thing for me, I think, is the emotional aspect. It's been a really beautiful way to spend time with Dartmoor, um, being outdoors on my own, sitting still, They've been some of the moments I have treasured the most over the last year or so, and obviously it feels particularly poignant now as I'm on the edge of leaving this beautiful place and moving to somewhere new. It feels like learning to cultivate and love a sketchbook practice is one of the most wonderful gifts that Dartmoor has given me, 
and hopefully one that I'll be taking forward and exploring in my new home. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Green Bean. Um, things are getting increasingly chaotic here as we prepare for our move to Wales, but you know, me and Jack are hanging in there and uh, it's still a joy to be doing my creative work, making videos for you whenever I can. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who supports The Green Bean on Patreon. I couldn't do it without you. And if you would like to support my work, please consider heading over there, joining our community and you get all kinds of benefits in return for financial support. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.